Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of 1998 Represent. On this episode, we're taking a look at Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. So, uh, Turok 2, obviously the sequel to Turok, the Dinosaur Hunter. Uh, first Turok game came out in 1997, and this was followed up um, about a year after um, in the kind of winter of 1998. Excellent first-person shooter. Um, one of the earlier games that used the N64 expansion pack. I know, I think, like, very early games that used it were, like, this and, I think, like, uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Um, the expansion pack in this game basically just enabled, you know, some high-resolution textures, or high-resolution from the time, I should say. It was still, compared to, like, current standards, it's pretty low-res. But uh, the expansion pack, you know, added more memory and uh, allowed games to utilize higher resolution textures. Uh, this game didn't require the expansion pack, but it was definitely enhanced by it. I know Rogue Squadron was the same way, as well as Star Wars Episode One um, Pod Racer. Some games later on, like uh, Perfect Dark and Donkey Kong 64, Majora's Mask, kind of required it. I think definitely Donkey Kong and Majora's Mask, Mask required it, while Perfect Dark didn't technically require it. But uh, basically, the game was um, severely hampered if you didn't have the expansion pack for Perfect Dark. Like, it was like you could basically do, like, one or two things in the game, and that was about it. But I uh, got some quick notes here on Turok 2. Uh, after we go through those, we're going to uh, do some gameplay of it as well. So get some notes here. Uh, so Turok 2 first released December 10th, 1998. Eventually got ported to uh, uh, Windows. I think there's been like a remaster or like a re-release uh, lately, but in the video we're going to be using the uh, going through Nintendo 64 emulator, playing the original version of the game. Like I mentioned earlier, you used the expansion pack. Uh, the game did pretty well critically. There was only a couple like complaints about like, I think it was like frame rate and kind of like the draw distance and kind of like some fog stuff in the game that was a, people criticized a little bit. Overall, though, uh, very good reviews for this game when it came out. Uh, we got some quick things here for it. Let me go load this up here, Turok 2. We're just going to look at some quick critical reviews for the game. Uh, so let's see, uh, Edge gave it a 9 out of 10. Uh, GamePro gave it, looks like, 4.5 out of 5. Uh, GameSpot gave it a 9 out of 10 on the N64 but a 6.7 on the uh, Windows release. IGN gave it a 9 out of 10, as well as a 7 on the PC version. Uh, N64 Magazine gave it a 95%. Uh, Next Generation gave it 5 out of 5. And Nintendo, Nintendo Power gave it a 9.2 out of 10. So overall, uh, very did, did very well critically. Um, I actually own this game. I haven't been able to locate it, though. I know I have it in... A box here somewhere. I didn't get it right at launch. I remember renting it, I think, when it came out um, and playing it quite a bit. Um, I was still knee deep in Goldeneye at the time, though. Uh, this control scheme on this one is a little bit different than Goldeneye, but it's still a very good first person shooter. I think, like this, the, the Turok series in Goldeneye, at least on the N64, definitely kind of brought first person shooters kind of. Uh, Basically, it, it, it made them playable on consoles. They were some of the first 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 person shooters, I think, that did kind of well on consoles and kind of showed that you could do a first person shooter um, and do it well on a console. Um, I know uh, it's generally always better on PC, but Turok and Goldeneye definitely showed that it was possible to make very good first person shooters um, on consoles. Uh, with that said, that's going to be uh, just the be the end of this first part of the video. We're going to then uh, flip around. We're going to get into the game, and we're just going to play a little bit of that um, and just see uh, see what we can do in there. So we'll be right back with the gameplay in just a second. All right, and we are now back in our Nintendo 64 emulator. Um, the emulator looks like it has seen the expansion pack. So we're going to go in here and just play some of uh, Turok 2. So Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. So I think the options here, the high resolution 
Fig heaters. High res, you can go... Uh, there we go, but... It's high res. Go back. Just start up single player. Don't know if this can be skipped, but let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like this is uh, skippable, unfortunately. If he succeeds in destroying all five energy totems, he will be freed. And kind of like a... Not really a problem with first-person shooters from this time period. The storyline is not all that great. Um, it's basically there just to kind of get you into the game. I know like Quake and Quake 2 have storylines that are really not all that... They're very paper thin. peaceful coastal village has been utterly destroyed by the dinosaur army under the primogen's command in the hills surrounding the city the battle wages on as stragglers are hunted down ruthlessly the dinosaurs are genetically engineered dinosaur hybrids they are utterly evil and very dangerous Though they do the Primogen's bidding, the dinosaurs have a more sinister and personal agenda of their own. To see humankind wiped from the face of the earth. Your mission objectives are as follows. Activate three distress beacons. Rescue four children. Activate the warp portals. Locate the energy totem and defend it at all costs. All right, here we go. So I think initially you just have a few weapons. We have the talons, the bow, and I think it's just a flare gun. Yeah, flare gun. And this one it uses the camera buttons to for your movement and the stick to kind of like aim or mouse aim, whatever you want to call it. I don't recall exactly what those do, but uh, we'll see what we can find here. Power cell? Alright, gotta find that. I definitely remember that you gotta blow this barrel up. That's one thing I definitely remember about the game. Yeah, the flare might not work for that. Let me see what we can bring the bow up. There's the power cell. I wonder if I should take that back to that spot. Alright. 
right, let's go. Where was the power cell needed over here? Distress beacon activated. Okay, so those distress beacons. So I, there's one distress beacon there. I guess that's. I think the other two were further into the level. So power cells are activated. that be grabbed? That's your jump. You had to look up to do it. Uh, another ladder over here. I think that's one of the warp beacons. Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't think I can get to that by jumping to it. So let's go through here. Is that a one-way thing? No. Okay. Cool. You can go, but you can go back. Yeah, I don't remember if that's supposed to be like armor like it was in uh, Doom and Quake and Wolfenstein and stuff. Oh. Right, there's one of the dinosaur things. Knocked down, picked up the arrows. What is this? Okay, the key, got that. Yeah, I don't think that door is openable. Want to go this way or go this way? Let's bring the map up. Cool, yeah. Nothing to do there, so let's go this way. Did I get them all? I got kind of destroyed there. It kind of worked. Yeah, I gotta pull it back all the way, I guess. Alright. Alright, there's some health packs. I only got six arrows, though. Is this pistol? Alright, cool. Where is the dinosaur thing?
I know there's a dinosaur in here somewhere because I heard it. Alright, let's see what we can... Oh. Is it throwing bombs? It might be throwing some kind of grenades or something. I think it's above, all right. Is this the level two room? Wait, what the heck? All right, nice. Can I get up there? Okay. Can't tell if I can actually go up there or not. Where is... I don't know where I need to go to get back up. Might be over this way. Alright, there we are. Whoa. Do I want to go out that way? Got that guy down, all right. Is that a power cell? Is that, that, I think that opened something. I think there's another dinosaur coming too. I mean, I think that opened something because that sounded like a door was opening or something like that. Wonder how you get up to that area. All right. Okay, it looks like it did open the door. I don't, I, I don't know. Did this game have fall damage? I don't remember. I don't know if I, that fell or if I just got attacked by a dinosaur. Okay, there's some more health. All right, full health again. Is there anything else in this room? All right, here we go. I think I've already been through here. So that's the door. Yeah, because this... 
I thought I already went through here, though. Oh, no, there's another warp point. All right. Okay, that's another warp point. Do so anything else in this room first? No, those things are throwing grenades of some kind. Okay, I'm getting destroyed by these things. Aiming on these old N64 games is still kind of rough. There's some health up there, it looks like. Alright, out of ammo. Got some more arrows. Got my claw. Got these small dino things. What the hell? Where the hell is it? All right, I think I got it. All right, cool. Yeah, I don't think I can get up to that. <laughs> don't exactly know what that opened. There we go. Alright, open this. What I need now is some ammo. Alright, slice that thing. There's some arrows, at least. Okay, another door open or a gate. I think this is where I came in from. I need some health as well. So yeah, I don't know what gate opened up, because this one here was open. Did I go... Yeah, I went through here.
Raptors now. Alright, kill the... Yeah, that thing's dead, alright. Yeah, I guess the only thing I have ammo for is the bow. Ah, I'm dead. Yeah, I guess in those situations, the claws are definitely better, probably. Is this like kind of like where it just respawns and everything is there still? Alright, do I have any pistol ammo? No, I think it's... I wonder if you can slice it? No, I don't think you can. I guess I, d I think I definitely need a... Yeah, you can't do it from that far away, I don't think. Or maybe I was hitting it, I don't really know. Yeah, let's just go with the claw then instead. I know there's a raptor around here somewhere. There it is. Is that down? Yeah, it's down. Alright. Yeah, some of the, the kind of death animations on some of the enemies is really kind of over... Like, it's really long on a lot of them. Right, I think i got to go up that ladder behind me, but... Can you get to that? Because you got to jump to it? No, I don't think I can. Talon's actually a really good weapon in this. Whoa, okay. Alright, where's the other dinosaur at? I can hear it. Yeah, I definitely hear it clumping around, so I don't know where it's at. Alright, there's some bullets, some health, alright. There's another warp point, but I don't think I'm quite ready to go in there yet. 
Yeah, I think there's some kind of map or thing there. Okay. Can I not get up to that? Might be too high. There's another power cell. So there's another beacon I need to activate somewhere. Can I get up to that? I don't know. Wasn't already over this way? Yeah, I got that pistol ammo already, so I'm gonna go back over here. Yeah, let's see where that warp point was, and let's go through that. Yeah, because there's still objectives to find the children, um, and then the other thing was um, activating the beacons. No, I, I definitely hate when they're up there because it's harder to aim. Wait, I did it. Where is it? Someone from behind me? Wait, I thought I killed that thing. Guess not. Okay, some kind of gates opening. Oh, another dinosaur thing coming through it. Ah, man. Alright, there we go. That's two lives down. And I think that's where we're going to end the video for Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. Uh, another excellent console first person shooter um, had a blast playing it so it's definitely a highly recommended game on the N64 like I said I have a copy of it somewhere don't exactly know where it's at but that's going to do it for this video so remember to like comment share and subscribe we'll be back again in a few more days probably be doing another music album uh, follow that up with like another um, another movie another video game after that but again that's going to do it for now thanks again for watching take care and have a good one see ya